Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers in the night? Finally, we are opening a hobby box of Midnight Suns. These came out around the time of the Moon Knight cards, and obviously we invested most of our money into the Moon Knight cards. But now that things are clearing up, we're paying off some bills and everything, we had some store credit over at Steel City Collectibles, so big shout out to them. We were able to apply that towards this and get an actual full hobby box of Midnight Suns Flare Ultra, which we are so excited. And we got some single packs too, so make sure you check out our short videos and you can see us open up those packs because we got a couple of good cards in here and I won't show them all off, but we did get a 3x3 blade, which is really awesome. And we got a medallion of Werewolf by Night, whose shirt I'm wearing as I record these episodes. Um, and then we also got Moon Knight in the green parallel. And we also got a medallion of Wolverine and Moon Knight. So very cool cards. I'm really digging these and I have been a fan of these since they came out and watching other people open them. And as someone who's obsessed with Ghost Rider and Moon Knight and Midnight Suns and everything in Blade, it just drove me crazy not to have any of these. And I thought, well, before they go out and you can't find them anymore for regular price, I wanna be able to get at least one hobby box. And so I was able to work something out with Blue to where we use some of his store credit at Still City to apply it towards this. And then I just made up the difference. So very cool. I'm very excited to open this. Without further ado, let's do so right now because uh, I've been jonesing. Like I've been waiting for this. I've watched so many videos of people um, as has Blue, although he's not as into these characters as I am, mainly just Moon Knight. But the rest of this, I mean, this is a set made for people like me and the Rider, who is someone who's been on YouTube and, and you know broke some of these boxes and stuff and I think is still actively completing sets from this. So, you know, people like us, we love the supernatural side of Marvel and we've been dying for Midnight Sun's love from something. And then we got a video game in the past two years and now our own trading cards. And I felt like a, like a hypocrite fan for not buying this when it came out. But we wanted to really go all in on Moon Knight. Now that we're here, we have our Midnight Suns cards. So we'll see how much close, you know, how close we can get to getting a base set. That's what we're trying to aim for. But uh, and none of the inserts, we're not trying to complete anything like the three by threes or nothing like that. We're not really going that route with them. Um, we just want to maybe try to get a base set and just have some fun opening these. Even if this is our only video and the shorts that we make of these, it's worth it. So let's dive into pack number one and let's see what we get here. And thank you all for being with us. Let me know down below where you buy your trading cards. We got these from Steel City Collectibles, so we'll put a link to them down below so you can shop there if you'd like. And hey, we got Adam Warlock. Really, really cool. And I might take my time on some of these because seeing them in person for the first time is awesome. Hey, look at that Domino. That's a great, I love her face. That's so fantastic. Uh, oh, that's good. And we got a green parallel of Captain Marvel, Miss Carol Danvers. And then, hey, check this out. It's a red cosmic ghost rider hey that looks really cool oh awesome yeah card number 20 congratulations you have received a trading card autographed wait what oh my god it is autographed i saw i'm so sorry dude i didn't even notice my first pack who's it autographed by nicholas gregory dude i gotta sleeve this and top load this immediately we got a Ghost Rider autograph in our first pack in our first Midnight Suns box. So, well, you know, as far as major hits, it's downhill from here, I'm sure, on this box, but that's okay. Like, this is really, really neat. A red Cosmic Ghost Rider autographed, and it's numbered to 100, number 33 of card 22. Oh, man. Okay, so that is awesome, and that is going to go in a top loader as well, because I don't want to take my chances. I, di I didn't even see the autograph blended so nicely. <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw it the way you're looking, but at my angle, I couldn't tell right away. So when I saw the congratulations, I'm like, wait, congratulations for what? Dude, this is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, we got to tuck that aside. That is super awesome that we got that in our first pack. I did shuffle the pack, kind of you saw when I pulled out of the boxes, so that would have probably landed somewhere in the middle of this episode, but we pulled it out and put it right on the front, so it became the front line. Uh, we got Spellcraft Stories also in this pack, and a great shot of Hannibal King there in the base. Uh, very, very cool. So, wow, okay, geez. Um, I'm, <laughs> I can't believe we got an autograph. That is so wild. Uh, very, very cool. And it's on the card. I think that's our first one because all the Moon Knight cards have, were stickered. 
So that's our first one. So Nicholas Gregory, you are now going to become one of my favorite artists. I'm going to look you up and look for more stuff that you've done. Obviously some in this set, but I got to look beyond this set too and find more of your work. Um, all right, we got Howard the Duck. Very cool shot. I think that's the creature from the movie, I think. Um, Carnage, dude, look at that. That is awesome. And then look at, what is this thing? Oh, yeah, the Ghost Rider of 1 million BC Spirits of Vengeance. So this is like the lineage of Ghost Riders. So this is a green parallel version of it. That's cool. We'll have to top, uh, well, I don't know about top loading it, but I'll at least sleeve it for now. Um, hey, is this Dracula? This is Dracula, and he looks awesome. Um, and then look at that. We got it in the regular. So we got the green parallel and the regular of it. Okay, then. Sweet. And then another Scarecrow. We got him in one of the single packs. So he's, and we got an autograph of him actually too, thanks to our friends at Gray Malkin. So, um, and the people in their stream who gifted us that, which was really awesome. I think we did a, a box break one night with them and we didn't get a lot of hits. So people were just really generous to us and, and they had some other cards and like, Hey, do you want us to throw this in? Do you want, and, and they were really nice. So, um, so thank you guys over at Gray Malkin. I'll put a link to them down below too. Make sure you check them out. But there is definitely something in this. I don't know what that is. It's thinner, so we're going to see here in a second. Um, we got Lucas Cross. Cool shot of him. Good artwork. And it's cool to see a lot of these very underused, even sometimes, characters uh, and unknown characters being put in the forefront in this set. I, I really like that. We have Hellcat. Oh, look at that. Black Cat. She's upside down, but in the green parallel. Wow, she looks fantastic. Um... I don't know what this thing is behind her, so we'll just keep going this way. And we'll do Clea Strange. Get her card out here so you can see it. And then we'll get... Oh, shoot. What is that? Wait, what are these? Oh, okay. I got you. It's, an, it's a Spellcraft Stories. I think the one behind is an Acetate. So we got Spellcraft Stories here. That's very cool. Good shot of Hulk and Ghost Rider. This is from World War Hulk. And this is when Ghost Rider tries to use the Pen and Stare on, on Hulk. And it doesn't work. And Ghost Rider's like, I don't understand. It's the only time it hasn't worked before this was, I think, on Venom. And uh, and so when it didn't work on Hulk, he's like, Why didn't it work? And because in the you know the spirit of vengeance was like, he he's innocent. The Hulk is not the one who's guilty here. He was sent to space. His family that he made up there was killed, and he's back for revenge. So we can't do anything to him <laughs> because he's innocent. I'm like, Wow, that's wild. Uh, really cool twist in that story though. But let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. That's uh, uh, Montessi, right? Victoria. Whoa, that's kind of neat looking. A Hellfire card. Very awesome. I like it in the green, too. It looks good with the smoky. That's that's a really nice looking card, actually. Um, especially for a character that, you know, doesn't get utilized a lot at Marvel. I think in recent uh, times she has. She's been popping up in more books. But, yeah, there's, like, layers to this thing. Like, uh, yeah, that's cool. And also makes it a little difficult to sleeve at times. But yeah, all right. That works. Hey, dude, only two packs in or three packs in now. And we're kicking it off, dude. This is nice. Um, all right, let's see what we get in this pack. So far, we've been killing it, in my opinion. Um, all right, we got Martine Baycroft. Awesome. Great shot of her, too. That's, man, the artwork in this is just so good. I mean, I've seen it when other people do their videos. But like I said, seeing them in person is fantastic. Oh, Calypso, that's a great card too wow oh and we got a thor the mighty thor here i just want to check out the back of that calypso card that's really cool it's the green parallel of it of uh the artifacts mjolnir and hey we got a bro yes dude we got brother voodoo i love brother voodoo i'm such a fan he's one of those obscure characters that you know a lot of people kind of look past but i think he's awesome and I really liked the book, even though it was an out-of-continuity comic that was written by Mark Andreco. It was called Supernaturals, and it was a miniseries for Marvel where Black Cat and I think Werewolf by Night and Brother Voodoo were in this alternate reality where all the superheroes get wiped out. And it's just the supernatural characters that are kind of the Avengers of that multiverse world. Um, so any writers out there that don't know that a book exists, and even you, Mark Andreco, bring those characters back and do another series because I like the battle between brother voodoo and his his uh brother his actual brother in that book but in this one this is the dr voodoo version and he looks awesome looks so awesome 
Um, all right, we got the trident from the artifacts. We got two artifacts in this pack. And we got, who is this? I'm forgetting this guy's name, Ranter. Oh, yeah, from Spirits of Vengeance. Okay, yeah. So I had, and you're going to see very soon, a video of my entire Ghost Rider collection uh, that we've been collecting since we were kids. And we actually recently sold it uh, to pay some bills and everything. But we made sure it went to, you know, a good home and stuff. So uh, we'll have that video coming up and we'll talk about probably, you know, characters like Ranter and other characters in that because we go through the whole, the whole collection. It was the last thing I filmed before we sold it. All right, next pack, we got Ghost Rider Hawkeye. Very cool. I think, is this from Damnation? Yeah, this could be from Damnation. That was a cool little series. Um, oh, Damien Hellstrom or Damon Hellstrom. Very cool. Wolverine in the green. Dude, look at that art too. That is beautiful. Oh, I'll take it, man. I'll take that all day. That is great. <gasps> Whoa, what is this thing? I've seen I think I've seen these in the videos, but man, do they pop in real life? Ultra abilities. We got Mighty Thor. And we got the regular base artifact. And we had the green of hers. Man, we are we got a Mighty Thor box here. And then we got a Carol Danvers in the back there on Captain Marvel. So very cool, but that is nice. I will take that too. That is cool. All right, dude. But getting that green Wolverine, I'm a big fan. So we're going to sleeve this one as well. Because uh, we actually, our very next box we're going to open on this channel for Fleer Ultra is going to be one of the Wolverine boxes. Uh, those are actually came out recently. So I'm actually at the start, you know, the front end of that one where I'm not super late like I am with these cards. We are officially halfway through the box with pack number six now. So let's see if we can build a little bit of speed and get through these last ones. Although I really do like taking my time because I enjoy looking at the artwork, especially stuff like this from Simone Bianchi. Look how amazing that Black Panther is. That is great. Another character I'm a big fan of. Hey, and look at that. There's our guy Venom. Very cool. I wasn't sure. I was like, hey, I know our main channel, you know, we do the, the Venom vlog and stuff, and that's our main show, at least until it ends, and then it'll become this show, Seek at Night. But it is cool. Sometimes we cross over and we get a little bit of Venom in this show, a little bit of Midnight Suns in the Venom vlog. So yeah, very cool. Went ahead and sleeved it so we can put it next to our Carnage. So the fact that we got both of these guys in this box is awesome. That's an added bonus for sure. And then we have Blackout here in the green parallel. And our Medallion of Ted. What is up? Dude, that's so great. That's a great one. Yeah, he's going to go along with Werewolf by Night. And man, if we can get a Blade one, then we'll have our four favorites. Uh, also, Elsa Bloodstone, that'd be cool to have her too. Because I think that's going to ho hopefully be the MCU version of the Midnight Suns if they can ever get the Blade movie going. Um, but check out this cover for our Strange Tales. It, the Living Colossus with Fing Fang Foom. That's cool. I like that they did these classic covers. They look nice. And there she is. Our Lord and Savior. Now, <laughs> this is Lilith, kind of the main threat uh, in one in a lot of ways in some of the 90s supernatural Marvel stuff, especially with Ghost Rider. But she's the mother of all demons. Very cool character, very unique looking. And I actually really like what they did with her in the Midnight Suns game. They gave her a little bit of a twist, and I, I don't want to spoil it, but I, it ended up working for me. Um, it didn't redeem her, really, but it still worked for me as a, a character arc, which I thought was cool. But yeah, if you haven't played Midnight Suns the game, it's awesome. You should. And we have our entire playthrough of it up on our other channel and some of the Venom highlights on our main Venom vlog. All right, we got Morgan Le Fay, pack number seven. Iron Fist. Awesome. A little Danny Rand action there. Beautiful artwork. And hey, we got Victoria Montesi again in the green parallel. Different art, though. This The other card was different. Um, that looks great, though. Great shot of her. Whoa, we got a... What is this? Quicksilver. There's some dings around this one, unfortunately. But hey, it's a numbered. That's, a, that's awesome. 188 of 200. And it's a gold medallion. Um, awesome. Dude, Pietro. Very cool. He needs to pop back up on uh, the X-Men 97 cartoon. They need to bring him in uh, in like the next season if they can. That would be cool to see him. Um, yeah, great. another great character. They did a lot of stuff with him in the Marvel Universe. Everything from after House of M with you know him and dealing with the Inhumans and stuff. Like They did some cool stuff with Pietro. But uh, yeah, it was, he's a neat character. Him and, and uh, Wanda are awesome. So uh, hopefully we'll see more of them in other things coming up. And check out this Strange Tales cover. That's awesome. The Haunt of Horror. Tales of Terror and the Macabre. 
That's cool. Har yeah, Harlan Ellison's in this one. Yeah, I've seen this cover. This uh, this was at Golden Apple, I think, when I was there. They're, uh, you know, Ryan and them, they collect, uh, they're big artist fans, Bill Sienkiewicz and, you know, Harlan Ellison, and, and they only fed more of my interest into the supernatural of Marvel when I was working there. So, uh, yeah, cool card, though. And then we got Blackout in the base. All right, five packs left. Let's do this. And like I said, I am, I've am i been taking my time with these because seeing them in person has been amazing. And we're probably going to even go slower when we do the Wolverine ones because I haven't watched too many unboxings of those. I know Blue has, but I have not. So uh, I'm excited. So we start off with Wasp. That's a cool shot of her, actually. Kind of anime-ish. Yeah, the artwork's really good. I like that. Hey, there's Meat Market. <laughs> He's one of the obscure henchman villains that uh, that was in that 90s run of Ghost Rider and stuff. But yeah, really cool. Let's see. Yeah. He's from the Ghost Rider number 28, which is when the Midnight Suns book started. That was part one of Midnight Suns, the crossover, where they had Blade and the, the Night Stalkers and you know Morbius and the Darkhold characters. Um, really cool. Like that. It's, a, it's a great book if you haven't read that Midnight Suns crossover. Uh, but that's what all this is kind of based off of. <laughs> so please go read it. Um, but yeah, here we go. Monstrosity in the green. Yeah, very cool. Hey, Matt Murdock. What is up, dude? Another character that I really, really love in the Marvel Universe. Just an awesome, awesome and broken and flawed individual who always is the underdog in a lot of cases and always rises up. Uh, personal life is in shambles, but, you know, he's a very effective in a lot of ways, superhero, except for the Kingpin. No one can seem to bring that guy down and keep him down. And that's a Marvel editorial decision, obviously. But yeah, it makes them, it's like the Joker. You're like, come on, man, take these guys down once and for all. But it's like, hey, it's, some of these guys don't have rules to kill. I know Punisher does, but, you know, Matt tries really hard. And even though he's made mistakes before, he tries really hard to, you know, not go down that route. I was really hoping we would get this card. So even though this is a more modern version of the Midnight Suns or the Spirits of Vengeance, um, it is still cool. This is Spellcraft Stories. And this one is the one that had Satana in it, right? And um, Hellstrom, Blade, and Johnny Blaze. And this was like a mini series they put out maybe like four or five years ago. Uh, but the art's fantastic in that run. And it was okay. It was, it was a decent run, and I, I liked it. It was cool to see a lot of those characters teaming up on a single mission. But hey, and look at this. We got the other Mighty Thor. So like I said, this is we're calling this a Mighty Thor box for sure. <laughs> um, all right, four packs left. Just like we had when we did the short videos, the singles. We had four loose packs that we were able to make shorts out of. So, and again, big shout out to Still City Collectibles for having some loose packs to sell. I think they were like $17 a piece. So they were up there in price, but it was still cool to have those so we can make a couple short videos and add more to the collection of, you know, beyond what we get in this hobby box. So we got Lilith Drake. Awesome shot. Taboo. Another, that's cool. They did a good job with him with all the candles and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. And hey, we got a green Dormammu. That's wicked looking. He looks really good. Yeah, look at that. He's really good. Fantastic. Dude, Phantom Rider as a medallion? That is, that's legendary. This is cool. Um, yeah, this is Hamilton Slade, right? Or someone from the Slade family. He's, um... The first time I read a book with him, I think was the original Ghost Rider run, issue 50. And it has Ghost Rider on his motorcycle and Phantom Rider on his horse. Which I'm wondering if that's where they pulled, which is e easily the best scene in the entire movie, the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider, the first one. The scene where it's the two Ghost Riders riding through, you know, across the desert. One on a horse and one on a motorcycle. That is... That's, that sequence is legendary. Unfortunately, it's like bogged down by terrible writing because... That other Ghost Rider, Slade, you know, he just rides the horse and leads Johnny Blaze to where he needs to go. And then he's like, that's it. I used my last power. And it's like, really? You're not even going to be in the last fight? Like, that terrible writing. That movie suffered from a lot of things. But that shot and that sequence is amazing. It's the best part of the movie, in my opinion. But I had to sleeve him. He's cool. He's a great character. Um, and then, whoa, dude. Look at that, Johnny Blaze from the Spirits of Vengeance, SV1. And then we got a base black cat to go with our green parallel. But that is great looking. I'm going to put aside for now with the other ones, but I'll probably sleeve those at some point. 
All right, three packs left. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've been enjoying. Comment below cards that you're liking, what your opinions are of the supernatural side of Marvel. Do you have a favorite? And are you a Spider-Man fan? Dude, we got Spider-Man and Venom and Carnage all in this box. That's awesome. Justin would call this a Spidey hit. And we're going to treat it as such by sleeving it and having it. Even though it's just a base card, it's okay. It's got Spider-Man on it. And that's awesome that he's in this set. Along with, boom, Electra, who is another great character. Interesting angle on her. Still cool, though. I like the lighting. Is I don't, Every artist, like, I really like interpretations. When people just, like, artists go just a little off normal of the beaten path, you know, when they try to add an element or something that's a little different. And I think this is just style. It's just very musculature and everything. And I would imagine someone who runs across, you know, runs across rooftops and stuff in New York City and other places and fights ninjas. I would imagine Electra is very muscular, <laughs> you know, for sure. So, um, yeah, great, great card, though. Awesome. And then, hey, look, the ancient one. Dude, that looks great. That is really great artwork. And I think this is one of those series. No, this is Andre Meister. This is one of those series that actually lists the artists, which thank you. Uh, I hate when they don't do that. Um, so very cool that they do on this series because uh, the artists deserve to get their credit, not just their payments, but their credit. Whoa, dude, blue parallel of Venom. This is another number card, 123 out of 180. Wow, awesome. Dude, talk about blending our worlds, right? We got some Wolverine stuff in these. We got, especially in the single packs, we got Venom and Carnage and Spider-Man. Like, and it's all in the banner of Midnight Suns. We got Moon Knight, you know, Man-Thing. Like, this was, like I said, this is a set of cards really for people like us. Um, and we are very grateful. That's why I'm glad we finally got a box to support this series. And uh, we will try at some point to get another box before they sell out. Uh, because we want to at least try to complete a base set if we can. Um, but this is just fun opening them. So I would like to get another box just to have the fun of opening them again. And then monstrosities. All right. Two packs left. It would be greedy of me to ask for any last pack magics. Because the first pack we got had a freaking Cosmic Ghost Rider autograph. So at this point, I'll just take whatever's in these. And I'll be very happy. And hey, we got our friend here, Nathan Summers. Shout out to the Grey Malkins. We got Cable there. Awesome. We got Sabretooth. Dude. Another big character that we're a fan of. And at one point, we had a very detailed collection of a lot of his appearances. Not all of them, unfortunately. We didn't have every appearance of his. We didn't have his first appearance in, in Iron Fist. But we did have a lot of his appearances. And we actually sold that as part of our collection, too. Because it was a lot of great Sabretooth stuff, for sure. Hey, look at that blade in the green. That's awesome awesome oh yes dude well, i love this character so much um you know it's, it's a, such a shame to see the movie struggling because they have a great actor it seems like they have a great set of actors that were announced for the movie and uh, it's a real bummer that that movie has not been released yet that it's it was announced six years ago i think and still isn't out or have a trailer for it or nothing so i really hope they get it together not to gripe i know it's a side rant but Still, I, I really want the Blade movie to come out or make it a show and tie it in with Moon Knight and uh, Werewolf by Night and start building the Midnight Suns that way. I'd be okay with that too. Our Medallion of Satana. Very nice. She looks great. Number 38. I think we got like 36, 37, 38, and 39, I think, in the medallions. How wild is that? All right. And then we have Crypt of Shadows, our Strange Tales cover. And I think this is a Wolverine card behind it. It is. And I think we got the green one last time. So this is the base card. So how perfect is that? He looks great. From Hulk 180. All right. That was his first appearance. And now the last pack, which again, I'm not going to ask for any magic because we get, wait. <gasps> Dude, there's only four cards in here. Uh oh, it's a book. No way. We got one of the books. No way. Oh, man. So out of all the inserts, that was the, one of the few that I was like, I really hope one day we get one of the spell books. Um, they also did them in the, the Doctor Strange series, but they put autographs in them. This one, I'm sure, is not going to have an autograph, but that's 
Okay. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Death Rider, which is Danny Ketch. Very cool. Uh, a modern update of his character, but then now he's Ghost Rider again. So they kind of undid that. That is a beautiful piece of art right there. Look at that werewolf by night. A hundred percent. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. And then we got Bloodthirst for our green parallel. And then we're going to sweat that one a little bit off screen here. And let's look at the last card here. Ooh, Alejandra Jones, who got killed by Carnage in the comic books. Uh, feels like kind of a waste. They just brought her back just to kill her in a, like, I think it was a King in Black or no, it was Absolute Carnage crossover issue. And now she's in hell, but apparently they have a mission for her. And sh at some point, some writer will hopefully pick that up and, and run with that story. But yeah, this is cool. Spirit of Vengeance, Alejandra Jones. So I'd like to see her come back. I, I didn't think she was a bad Ghost Rider. I've actually liked all the Ghost Riders that have been. So, all right, we have some dark text here. Look at this. The Crimson Bands of Sidorak. Dude, this is epic. I cannot believe we got one of these. I'm really into like spell books and the Necronomicon and little, you know, evil books like that, like the Darkhold, like... I'm so into it. I cannot believe we got one of these. So this is card number 12, I guess, or in the series, D12, or DT2. I'm sorry, DT2. Let's see who it is. <gasps> Stephen Strange. That's a great character to get. I mean, who else would mess with dark texts other than <laughs> Stephen Strange and some of the villains, obviously, but from the hero side, him or Brother Voodoo, you know, uh, but wow, that is beautiful. I got to find a way for us to display this. Uh, this is so cool. Yeah, dude. Blue, thank you for giving me some of your store credit so I could put it towards this box here and also towards the Wolverine box, which we're going to open up in the next episode of our Fleer Ultras. Um, but we got an autograph. We got a dark text. We got a lot of great Ghost Rider stuff, some great medallions and green parallels. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Little ding there. Um, you know, that sucks. Anyone who's collecting these, though, let me know. I can, uh, we'll, I'll send it to you or whatever. Just, you know, hit me up on Instagram. But to get all these great characters, all these cards in a single box, I think value worth it. And these boxes are now, I think, down to like 160 or something like that, 160 bucks. So I will probably try to pick up another one when we can. We don't have any m spare money to do that with right now. But at some point, I'd like to pick up another box or two of these and unbox them for you guys. And then the Wolverine ones, I think after we open this box, if we get another one, it's a big if, because we might switch to just the blaster packs, um, because I think those are a little bit of a better deal, and they focus more on the base cards, which is we're trying to complete a base set of these. So yeah, let me know what you think of the Midnight Sun stuff. You know, who is your favorite person you've seen unbox these? I really like seeing Ryder talk about them and Last Pack Magic and, you know, and uh, Justin, you know, Spidey Hits and there's um, Marvel Madness MCU and cool cards. Like there's so many people out there that are making great content and y'all making these videos got me through because I was like, all right, the Moon Knight stuff is cool. Obviously, we love them, me and Blue, and they're a bonding experience with us, you know, going through and kind of just having fun together and him opening some of his packs and mine and us sharing these awesome cards and building this big collection of autographs and everything from the show. But this was definitely one for me and I'm very happy. But I will set aside a Moon Knight or two for him because we got a couple of duplicates and a couple that we've had before that friends have sent us from Grey Malkin and everything. So again, if you want to buy your cards, look for people online on Whatnot app. The Grey Malkins are awesome. If you're going for, through websites and stuff, Steel City, who we bought these from, they're very awesome too. And definitely start building your collection of Midnight Suns today if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in hell. Peace.